the MEV DAO bot just landed a successful sandwich transaction. And this is a very big deal because in order to make a profitable sandwich transaction, you need to compete with the best bots out there in Ethereum. These guys have been developing bots for years. They have teams dedicated full time to work on this type of, of bots. So it's a quite, quite an accomplishment that my bot was able to land a profitable bundle for sandwiching. And today I'm going to show you exactly how it works, how I was able to beat the competition, to beat Jared, to beat many others. And I'm going to explain to you what it takes to get there so that you can start making money yourself. This was nine hours ago, as you can see. So let's get into it. So the bot, the MVDAO bot, what it does is it sandwiches Uniswap V2 transactions. Right now it's, it's not that complicated. What it does, it looks for tokens that are being purchased and it buys before those and sells after that person. In this case, the token name is GFI. The name is a bit weird, but it doesn't matter. So what it did is, is my bot used it. My bot saw, first let me go to the transactions to show you. It's in the position 46. If I go to the transactions here, so my bot found this transaction where a user is swapping about two ether split between Uniswap v2 and v3 for the token GFI. And the idea is that the reason why he's swapping between these two pools is because they are divided. You know, there's liquidity on both places on Uniswap v2 and v3. So my bot saw this transaction in Uniswap v2. Right now it only works for that one, like I said and he calculated the minimum amount out the victim is willing to get the slippage. So if I swap one ether, I'm, I should get like 300,000 tokens, but I wanted to accept 200,000 or so. That's the slippage, the minimum you're willing to accept. And the reason there is a slippage is because there are many transactions that may be executed before yours in the block and you don't know and those transactions alter the price, of course. When someone buys before you, even if it's a second before, it alters the price of your transaction. And that makes you get less tokens, but that's normal. We have a slippage usually of 0.5% or 1%. In this case, it doesn't tell you exactly how much it is, but I'm going to show you a trick to detect the slippage. Now, this is the universal router. And it seems confusing, but once you're familiar with it, you can tell that the slippage is probably this. So I copy that number. I do zero X and I get this. That right there is the slippage. 317, 187, whatever. See, it's the number without, you know, all the decimals and all, all of that. This is how the how many the user got and this number right here is how many the user was willing to accept as the minimum. As you can see, he got slightly more, otherwise the transaction would have failed. And my bot simply saw that. So, okay, this guy is gonna be swapping one ether for 400,000 tokens or so. Let's buy before him, move the price up so that he gets less tokens. And from those tokens, I sell them for profit. I keep those tokens myself because I bought before him. So that's what I, my bot did is just purchase the exact amount that is needed to get as close possible to this slippage. And then it sold those tokens right there. The tokens that I received have been sold. You see, I've received this many tokens and the bot sold those tokens for slightly more, you see, 0 0.41 ether, 0 0.40. And what else is important in this case? Well, I have a half contract, half is a smart contract language, alternate, an alternative to Solidity that allows you to write very gas efficient smart contracts where you control every operation that goes underneath. It's a complex language and I'm making a course about it. So if you're interested, 
send me a, a message on Telegram because it will be available soon. It will be $500, by the way. And then it will go up for more. But yeah, that's the that's how I'm able to get very gas efficient transactions. In this case, I've spent 141,000 gas and here 100,000 gas. Now that's not the best. Why is this important, first of all? Well, because the lower gas you have, the cheaper the transaction it is, and you can keep more of the profit for yourself. The idea is to reduce the gas required to as low as possible. In this case, I was able to do that. So another important thing is the call data. This is the input data, the call data. As you can see, it's a bit confusing. There's a bunch of random numbers, but what I'm using there, what, what I'm doing with that is I'm telling the smart contract, okay, buy this token, buy this amount of tokens and receive this amount of tokens. That's what I'm doing there. And they call it all of this is just instructions. It's done by 0, 0.0 or whatever of ether and get this many tokens for that particular token. The token address should be out there. As you can see, token address is about, this is the one, if I find that, you can see that should be somewhere in there. Well, right now, maybe because the, the caps, I'm going to do this. No, it, well, the, the bot knows that I'm swapping in order to get this token in particular. Anyway, and then at the end, I'm selling the token with uh, another message here. And the message is just another transaction that tells, okay, sell this token, get me this much worth and execute everything that you need to execute to swap the token. There's a lot of things going on underneath here and it's a very complex system, but my bot was able to beat the competition and the competition is extremely, extremely good at what they're doing. They are, you know, sandwiching everything that they see every few minutes and they're making money from that. Hope this has been helpful and let me know if you want to see more videos about it because this is a topic that I like to discuss and I will teach you more about how MEV bots work and I have some paid content that will be available soon. But if you liked it, make sure to subscribe right now, share the video and comment what type of bot you would like to create yourself. See you soon.